My toilet is hissing like a snake taking a shower and I'm gonna try to fix it. Now, one of the first things you wanna do is remove your toilet plant. Now we can take a look inside the tank and yeah, there's some snakes taking a shower in there. The sound is actually coming from the fill tank valve. The seal in here can either get gunked up and water can seep around uh, and the water pressure can start to kind of hiss through, um, or the seal can just rot out. Uh, so gonna take a look in here, see if we can fix it up or if we need to replace it. First or second, whatever step we're on now, uh, what we want to do is turn off the water that's going to the tank. Oh, that fixed it. We could just leave the water off to the toilet and the sound goes away. Or if you actually want to fix the problem, uh, let's drain this so we don't have to get our hands soggy. And now we can go to work. Okay, I'm actually going to skip over steps three through 17 because while I was trying to troubleshoot this, I ended up cutting myself, super gluing my fingers together, breaking a plastic fitting that was in this fill valve and uh, got absolutely nowhere. And then I looked up and found that to replace the whole assembly just costs like 10 or 15 bucks. So I picked this thing up. This one is called Corky. It's made in the USA and reminds me of Life Goes On. I sprung for the 2X Stronger Materials version because I break things easily. I'll leave the details for this one below, but there's like 5,000 different models you can pick up. They're pretty cheap. There's still a little bit of water left in the tank, so we're gonna drain that out before we go any further. You can grab a bucket or a uh, potty and put that underneath, and uh, let's see how wet we get. Detaching the fill line from the bottom of the tank, and there we go. Oh, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, I see. That makes sense. This is stopping up the water from draining. So once this goes out, then we'll get a rush. So stand by with the potty and or bucket. All right, Ben's here to help me for this next step. Reach in and I don't know if we have to twist or just pull up or what's going on. This is the part where you watch me figure it out. And make a fool of myself. Okay, I think there might be some unscrewing involved here that I need to do. Okay. I see what's going on here. There's a uh, little, what's this called? A nut, washer, screw, doodle, uh, that is holding that piece from the other side. A uh, strong pair of hands or some pliers should make short work of this. There we go. Here's the rest of the water. That comes off. Yep, because I didn't have another bucket, except this might actually be a little smaller than I need. Oh, just made it. All right, so the screw doodle pops off the bottom and then this removes, drains the water into the potty or the bucket, whatever you have. And uh, this goes in the trash. I'm gonna pop this bad boy open and actually praise the Lord. It opens easily. Five stars out of five. We have the main contraption, the fill valve, and some extra parts. Oh, and a, uh, a reusable straw. Okay, so this thing is universal, supposedly, and it can adjust height. So we twist that to unlock it, and you can slide it up and down like so. Uh, you want to get this mark water level about a half inch below the water line in your tank so let's just kind of see where we're at with that uh, looks about right and then twist to lock mop as needed that should do it now we'll attach it from the bottom the kit comes with a new ring and it does mark i don't know if you can see it here but it does say this side up. Twist, 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 twist. And then we'll reattach the water line. 
nice and snugly. And there it's in. I actually skipped the part where I had to readjust this to face this way, uh, just to make sure that the line isn't going to get in the way of the little flippy arm. Um, and also, I was mistaken, this is not a reusable straw. This is the fill valve tube that's going to connect from here to here. It's a little bit long, so we're probably going to cut it down to size and then hold it in to the tube with this uh, provided little clip here. Actually, I'm gonna try something. I'm just going to put this down here and then thoop the other end in and just disregard the clip piece. Thoop. That's looking nice. Let's uh, turn the water back on down here and see what happens. Ooh. This doodad actually can adjust the flow so it's a little bit quieter, doesn't come out as crazy. Or you can go whole hog. It works. No more hissing. So let's finish up by replacing the tank top and your toilet plant or decorative tissue box or other commoda readornment. And there we go. Am I in the picture? There you go. That is how you fix a hissing toilet. Happy flushing.